Oh, jeez. Let it right on my hip. Right on my nearly three-year-old replaced hip. Hello guys, uh, Mark here. Uh, today I thought I'd give you guys a little, uh, just a review, a quick review of these shorts I've been wearing this season. Uh, a few years ago I had both of my hips replaced. And they, they were done about six months apart, and that was in 2017. Uh, this year when I started riding again, um, you know, again, I went back to riding as aggressively as I did, you know, 15 and 20 years ago. And, and of course, took some tumbles here and there and, and found that my hips were pretty sore after I landed on them a few times. Uh, so I thought I, I, I really ought to figure out a way to help protect them the best I can. So in doing our research and so forth, I came by a number of different brands. You know, some that look bulkier, some look like they were more padded, uh, this and that. But the one thing that, that drew me to these G-forms uh, was this, uh, was the magic foam that they have. Uh, it does, does a very good job of dispersing the impact uh, over, over a larger surface area. So, so you're not getting that, that bang in the one spot when you hit that root or that rock or, or uh, you know, your, your hip implant, you know, pokes through your skin or whatever. Um, they're quite comfortable. They, uh, they, they tend to heat up as you, as you ride and become more and more comfortable. So when you look at these, they're, they're not all that flexible. Uh, they, they do become more flexible, uh, with, with your body heat and so forth. You still know that they're there, but they're not at all. They don't impede your ride. They're not uncomfortable. They are, they're, they're quite comfortable to have on, uh, anymore. If I'm not wearing them, I feel kind of naked and unprotected. So I've, I've really grown to like these shorts. I can foresee myself buying, you know, multiple pairs uh, again, especially after these need to be replaced. Uh, a few other little tidbits about them. Uh, this is the sport model. So they're kind of, they're not real thin, not any thinner than any other Lycra shorts, but uh, they do have these, uh, the perforations there that, that do allow them to breathe a little bit better. Um, on the inside, the way that they constructed these shorts is, is actually, really nice. They're not, they're not glued to the short, you know, they have their own little pocket here and it's actually sewn on. And the, 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 the seam itself is actually quite flat and very comfortable. I don't find that I have any chafing or any, any discomfort or itchiness or rubbing from, uh, from the, the, the stitches themselves. The, uh, the fact that it's, it's just, it's part of the short makes them so much more comfortable. I think the, the chamois itself is decent. Uh, two, three hours, I, I think you're fine um, as far as uh, comfort in the saddle goes. Uh, they are a little thicker here. They're a little, little less thick in the front. Ultimately, if, if it was, you know, five hour days, I, I don't know how comfortable they'd be. Um, I, I don't know how comfortable I'd be in these days after five hours, no matter what. So. To me, these are the, the perfect short for me. They do, uh, they do make a few other models where you have some extra padding either on the tailbone or you know down, uh, down the leg a little bit further. Uh, the ones down the leg a little bit further might not be a bad idea. Uh, there, was, there was one incident especially that I wish I had had the extra padding down there, but in the end it, it protected the part of my leg that really needed to be protected, which was my hip. Um, like many shorts, they do have uh, that, that, that sticky fabric on the inside here. It's starting to kind of come off a little bit, but I don't don't really see that as being a problem. Um, I, I got a lot of rides in on these this year, and uh, you know I just I just don't think that it's a big deal. It's not flaking off, and I haven't found it on my leg or anything like that. Uh, the waistband, however, does not have that tacky tape on the inside, which I actually prefer. Uh, kind of. You know you don't you don't feel it as much and the the waistband is a little high for me anyway and I end up I end up fold it down most of the time when I do ride but ultimately I'm in, incredibly happy with these shorts I uh, I recommend them to anyone who who just wants a little more protection without you know having a full 
you know, body armor thing going on. Uh, ultimately, they're about they're about ninety bucks, maybe just a touch more, uh, but but worth every bit of it. Again, these are the G form, and like I said, I, I think they're the sports, and I do know that they make uh, elbow pads and knee pads and and stuff for other sports even. So I I know that they're pretty active in the development of this. Uh, we'll call it call it a magic foam again, and uh, hopefully you know these. The technology will, will move forward in a way that even this pad will be able to be a little bit thinner. So if you have any questions or any comments or anything like that, feel free to leave them below. Uh, but anyway, I like these shorts. Thank goodness for the G-forms. 